I am Adil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question from previous test paper. Now in the solution of this question, it is not only important to understand how to find the probability, but also how using logarithms to calculate the value. So I like you to concentrate and understand the process. Question number seven, the probability of Anil hitting bullseye is 70 percent. How many arrows should he shoot so that the probability he hits the bull's eye at least once is greater than 0 0.995? Okay, you can always pause the video, answer this question. Here is my suggestion. So, we are looking at this target, right? So, we have to hit this point. Now, probability of hitting this is 70% for Anil. Now, when we say, how many arrows should he shoot so that the probability he hits the bullseye at least once is greater than 0.995, is greater than 99.5%. So what we should be looking for here is n failures before a success. So that is kind of key to understand this, correct? So the, the probability of failure, we can say, so let's call this event as a probability of failure in this case will be since success is 70%, right? So probability of failure will be 0 0.30, correct? Since probability of success is 0 0.7, is that okay? So failure is like one minus, right? So it is basically equal to uh, one minus 0 0.7, which gives you 0 0.3. Now, when we say how many arrows should be should he shoot so that the probability he hits the bullseye at least once is greater than 0.995. Correct? That is, there could be n failures but one success. So we are looking for here, we are looking for n failures. So probability of n failures will be how much? It will be 0 0.30 to the power of n. Correct? Now after these n failures, we get a success and that is what we are interested in. Right? So now we get to our event which is how many arrows should he shoot so that the probability he hits the bullseye is at least once, at least once one success will be one minus these failures will be equal to one minus 0 0.30 to the power of n. You get an idea. So that is how you get your probability. Now we need to figure out the value of n and we are given the condition that this particular probability should be greater than 0 0.995. You get the idea. So that is how we get our equation. So we need to solve this equation and find n. Perfect. Now let's see how to solve this equation. So we'll do it here. We have 1 minus 0 0.3 to the power of n greater than 0 0.995. Taking this on the other side, we get minus 0 0.3 to the power of n is equal to 1 on this side, 0 0.995 minus 1, correct? Now, both are negative quantities, correct? Which is, we are saying minus 0 0.3 to the power of n is greater than minus 
So that gives you 0 0.005. Now if I multiply by negative, I have to interchange the signs. Do you see that? So we get actually 0 0.3 to the power of n should be less than 0 0.005. Now to solve this equation, we have to take log both sides, right? So we'll take logarithms. So let's continue. Taking log, we get log of 0 0.3 to the power of n should be less than log of 0 0.005, right? So that gives you n log of 0 0.3. It should be less than log of 0 0.005. Now, we have to divide by 0 0.3. So we have, we have log of 0 0.005 divided by log of 0 0.3. Now, you should notice one thing that we are dividing by a negative quantity. Remember, log of 0 0.3 is less than 0, right? It is negative. Therefore, you should change the sign. Now, this is most important thing to understand, right? So, here we have to now change the sign. You get the idea. Since log of 0.3 is negative, right? Now let's calculate. So we have log of 0 0.005. We have to divide this by log of 0.3. So we get 4.4, right? So that means this is 4.4. So we get n is greater than 4.4. So the whole number which is greater than 4.4 is 5. So that implies that n equals to 5. It doesn't make sense to you. So that is how you're going to find your solution. So how many arrows he should hit? He should shoot 5 arrows to ensure that the probability of hitting the bullseye is 99.5%. Perfect. So that is how you have to solve it. So the key things here to remember is that whenever you multiply by a negative quantity, you have to change the inequality sign. And also log of a number less than one is negative, right? So, so, so what we have learned here is log of n where n is, where n is, let's say greater than zero, but less than one, in that case, log of n is less than 0, correct? Where n is between 0 to 1. So that is kind of important to understand, right? Now let's move on and take question number 8.